Okay, here we are at the start of race two for women's uh, racing. It's 2.12 to the go. All right, I can't believe in the last minute we had the breeze go way, way over here. It looked like a beam reach on stop attack. And then 30 seconds later, it went hard left and it was a beam reach on port attack. That's the worst I've seen all day. Um, come on, that can't, that can't hold. Uh, hopefully it'll steady. Uh, right now it's pointed at the weather marks if you like that. All right, uh, 149. I've got to remember to just flag down at the, at the one minute sign. Okay, a reminder of that race there. Uh, be cautious of what angle you sail downwind and what job you're on. You can feel the wind on your back, right? If you're not feeling it, you're probably too low. So you need to head up, okay? If heading up doesn't send you towards your next destination like the gates, you might jive and um, work the heated angle on the opposite jive. All right, so uh, I guess I can zoom out zoom in a little bit. I'm playing. All right, so I have only four boats this way. Let's take a look over that way. Five boats the other way. Oh, no, that's six, isn't it? Okay. Uh, we only eight boats for the first race. There are 11 women. Flag down. All right, one, two, three. Oh, that's the one over there. Uh, okay, so try that again. There are now nine boats out here, right? I think. Yeah, okay, so we've added one boat. I'll figure out who that is. One minute, I better get near this uh, other flag. All right. Uh, Julie's going pretty fast. We're having uh, 40 seconds left. All right, that uh, runway is closing up now with 30. Okay, um, so I would have eased my main early 54, so you don't have to ease it late because we want to have the momentum when we go over the line. We're at 18 seconds, okay? I should be over here, because that's where the line really is. Okay, uh-oh, 52, don't come up, Catherine. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. Irene with another good start. Okay, I uh, trim that main, Suzanne, head that boat up. Great. Wow, now there's a dark patch of water, but it's in front of Irene's bow. She may get ready to get headed. Now, after the header, and she bears off with the header, then she may get a velocity lift. The boat heads up. When the true wind increases, there it goes. When the true wind increases, your power wind increases and shifts aft. And that's how we can head up in that puff. Okay, nice job with that. Okay. Will it hold? Wow, she's really getting up there, okay. That may have been a little bit too much of a squeeze for Irene in the yellow boat there. All right, uh, and uh, the, the Christians are going to attack Ducker Transom. Who's leading? I don't know. Doesn't matter who's uh, crossed in front. Who's going the right way? Right now, 68 has got a, a good angle, and they're charging. By the time 62 tacks, uh, actually, she did a really good tack. So Irene's tack was very nice there, okay. Ah, uh, but if the breeze is going to stay left like this, it might be a one-tack beat uh, to the weather mark. I doubt it. The wind's been pretty good about shifting back and forth. Anyway, the Christians uh, made a gain on that duck, all right, and got going uh, on poor tack, a little lifted, plenty of pressure. Uh, the buoys are off to the right. They stay over there. I might have to actually get up and move the buoys over. But, ah, look at 62. That was a header. Oh, there's 68, a header. Okay, great. So that tells me there's a little bit righty left. If the righty fills in, Suzanne Shepard over here is going to look okay after all. Uh, it, to be honest, it doesn't look so good right now. I did say if, because I still see dark water over here to the left. Okay. Do your best you can. Uh, that may... Oh. <laughs> Thunder's not racing, okay, because that main is not trimmed in enough, okay. About 71, I think that rake, I, I believe, um, look at the boom, way up in the air there, okay. I think 71 is that, uh, I'll have to look whether that's um, uh, Pauline or, uh, yes, it's Pauline, okay. So, um, I don't think that's just from main being east so much. I think the boom's off the deck because the, um, that we've actually got uh, the mass very, very far forward. Uh, and of course, that's not necessary to not necessary today. Um, I can't lie; one of the better boats to look at is going to be 68, as far as your um, rig. 
because you've got the two Christians that have been here forever and, of course, DB on the boat. They're probably not going to have their rig set in properly. So Pauline's uh, uh, rig needs to go aft. Um, we're not talking about a major rake as if it was super light air, but uh, that boom's too high. 64 is a little bit up as well. The yellow boats look nice. Um, of course, 68 looks nice. All right. All right, well, even with the long lefty, it's still taking a while to get to lower the mark, and that allows time for the wind to shift. It had not been like this the whole afternoon. Well, wrong. When I first got out here, we had a long lefty then. Okay, so I'm hoping uh, that the second beat will be square enough. Okay, all right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, uh, uh, the Christians are around, um, 62 is around, that is Catherine Carlson, okay. It's funny, for a while there, the, um, the lefty died, all the bows went down except, except for um, Su Suzanne, and Suzanne got lifted up and got much closer to the boats, but it was a port lift, so she couldn't tack to go to the buoy. Now she's really off to the side there, um, and she's got to tack now. That's the white boat, hard right. I believe it's number 64, right? Uh, nope, not 64. Uh, 61. Okay. Here she's got to go into attack now. Uh, good, but she did close the gap. Here's her tack. Right. And let's see how it goes. Where the one, two horses are well ahead of everybody else. Well, great. That means it's a battle for third. 54 can be taken down. Okay. So again, it's a very long offset, plenty of time to get your pole up and pre-feed your kite. They even to ask you the question whether you're going to pop on sub attack. All right. A lot easier because you have that length um, to get the pole up and all that. But if we thought there was a, a righty at the top stop attack lift, we would certainly be considering uh, doing a job set. But, in this case, no way, baby. No, we've had a, a pretty long lefty, and if it's left, port tack lift upwind, we have a stop attack headed downwind, and that's what we want. Sail the headed tacks on the runs. Let's see how that, uh, that jibe is. Look at that spinnaker, beautiful. You know, the boat hardly turned. It turned just enough because the wind was up enough. They didn't have to do a jibe, reach to reach jibe. That was more of a run to run jibe. Beautiful job by the Christians. Um, should I, should I have it close enough with that? <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, here goes the yellow boat, I believe. All right, maybe not. I will say uh, that it looks like a little right he's coming back. So I do think um, that both the lead boat uh, and second place uh, are on the proper jive now. They're both on the port jive. They popped on starboard, they've jived over. I wonder if 54 might want to do the same. Oh. <laughs> Looking at the sky again, I'm going to back off. If it ain't the water I'm pointing at, it's, it's the sky. Sorry, too busy talking. Um, all right. So anyway, my point is that if 54 does not jive to port, there's a chance 56 in the whole group, which has got ladder separation to the right, and we're not covering that. So let's see how the jibe goes. I think they heard me because they went right for the jibe. But you've got to bring the spinnaker around to the new Lewitt side so it doesn't wrap around your forestay. And once you do that, then you try to bring it back to the windward side. But we've got to get the whole kite around the forestay. Okay. Uh, pretty good rounding on the Christians, except that uh, may not come in soon enough. All right. Well, they're mad at me because I didn't give them a whistle. Oh, I was too busy shutting up this camera. I didn't give them a whistle when they won the last race, the first race of the night. We'll have to remember a whistle, maybe two. Nice job on the yellow boat. The boat looks sweet. Um, the wind's strong. It brings the kite up. The pole might be a little bit off the clue, and it probably got to be fine like that. All right, good job getting the spinnaker down early. That's a 62, all right. And so early, they shouldn't have any trouble dro dropping to windward. I, I don't think they'll have trouble. 
Hurry up. Now, Irene's got to think about uh, her rounding the mark. Okay. So, she's thinking about trimming that mane now. Trim the mane now. Trim the mane now. Okay. And head up. And so, we overshot the mark by a little bit. Um, yeah. If there's another boat behind, they could have walked in there on them. And trim that mane, and you got a nice little pup there. Hey, the breeze is not left now, it's square. Um, so, I'm surprised the Christians haven't taken a hitch over to the left. Okay, uh, that might be the best righty they get. Uh, anyway, Doc Warren to the left, uh, uh, lefties to the left. So, uh, I would be, be concerned, except they've got a massive lead. So, they're just relaxing out there. Okay. But just so you know, decrease lateral separation. Decrease lateral separation when leading. Hey, the boat up there that's not part of our race looked pretty good with a little righty up there. Okay. So in fact, my second bead is going to be square. I love it. All right. Sometimes it's not worth moving the buoy. You should just let the wind adjust to your sail, or to your uh, course. <laughs> All right. And 68 now tax crosses easy. I cry, you know, they even gained a boat like the two on that one. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, we've, it's not worth flying a kite if we're going to go, go consistently keep going past the gate balls. So we have the white boat and the red boat here. Uh, it's not worth it. Might as well not fly it. The, the run isn't even that long because it's a killer to go extra boat lengths downwind and they have to beat upwind. All right, and here we go. No problem for Catherine to sneak right in there. Her mane, I'm being picky, but her mane got trimmed too soon. And the mane was trimmed to close all when she was barely even being reaching. So that boat has just stopped. You can lop your sails to make the boat stop. You can over trim and stall out. So they're on stall mode. Trim that jib in. Uh, 64, trim that jib in. All right, initially it was just a jib trim coming in. Then, of course, we were steering too much into the breeze. Okay. It's hard to know when that is when the jib's lopping, so get the uh, jib full of wind. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're a little uh, slow in trimming our sails around the um, around the gate. Okay. Ooh, a little bit more lefty. That should help out uh, 61, I believe, is Suzanne. All right, uh, I got that wrong before, didn't I? Uh, 61 is, in fact, Suzanne. Okay, so good. She's looking good. Ah. Uh, uh, Love to see, I mean, nothing personal, but I like to see the bows come down on, on port because that it confirms that the breeze is back uh, equal sides of the weather mark. Okay. So 52 might be, that, uh, might be the time for um, Catherine to, um, to tack back. Well, they're not doing that. Maybe uh, 61 here, uh, Suzanne, is going to make a gain. Okay. Uh, certainly help if we had that lefty show up at the top of the beat. Uh, that would help out the boats on the left. 62, Irene, she looks great. All right, she is on a starboard lift up there. Right. And she'll need to tack to port soon uh, because that's where the buoy is. So, three to one, a little bit of velocity ahead, and it's time to tack anyway. So, there's the yellow boat tacking. Not letting anybody get um, too far to either side of her. And 68, rounding in the bullet. We're pretty pretty spread out here on the nine boats. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll take a break. Uh, it's not really that exciting, to be honest. And I, hey, I like watching paint dry. So sailboat racing is a blast for me. But uh, breeze is pretty square. Everybody's spaced out equally. There doesn't seem anybody in a good place to, uh, in a good passing lane. Uh, nice, nice tack by the yellow boat to get around. And all right, so second place is around the weather mark. Fifty-four will be third. All right. All right. Um, so uh, sixty-one is getting a little leverage slide over the top of fifty-two, Catherine. Boy, if Catherine has a pop, she can drive down. If they have a tremendous low, 61 will have trouble driving down. All right, so 61 is making a gain, but I'm not sure they're going to get through. This should be very interesting. Okay. 
uh, if there remains an overlap, okay, 52 is on stop attack into Lewid, and then 61 won't be able to jive. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Could be tight here. Uh-oh, Catherine's going a little low. She has to come up or jive herself. Okay. Uh, wow, 61 clearly has room to jive. And once they get... Oh, I'm sorry, uh, the, the railing was in the way, sorry. Once they get to the three boat like circle, okay, uh, um, Su uh, Suzanne has room anyway. So please turn now, Suzanne, I want you to win. Uh, uh, nothing against uh, Catherine. But let's, okay, we waited a little too long, and we sailed that extra distance. Now she's going to sail sideways to get to the finish line. Bummer. All right, ah, oh, this is so close. Okay, don't hit the buoy. Okay, and look at that. Don't hit the buoy, and you've got that. Don't hit the buoy. Nice job. Okay, uh, so uh, Suzanne got that over Catherine, and w when I said nice job, because they took the the um, main sheet and they popped out over there so the main sheet didn't get wrapped around the pin, the green ball, so that was awesome. All right, there we go. So that went white, yellow, red.